Hey, it's Aubrey. Today we are styling our entryway for our brand new home. Now we're not doing anything to the walls. We are just gonna be decorating with furniture and some decor. And I wanted to show you guys how we're gonna put this space together for our new home. So without further ado, let's get started. Since our entryway is quite large, I wanted to have big enough pieces to fill in this space. And I think that's really important when you're trying to style any space of your home is having the right size furniture. So I have this 72 inch console table. It's in the color black. I really liked it because I like the style of the turned legs. It has a very traditional look, but I'm gonna kind of dress it up a little bit more modern with some decor and accent pieces. So on top of the console, we have this huge oversized mirror which I love because it fills in a lot of this empty space on the wall and because we did a rectangular console table I wanted to soften the edges with a nice big round mirror so I'm just going to give this mirror a quick clean it got extremely dusty from our move but I love this mirror it's from Wayfair it's a 48 inch round mirror so it is I mean it's huge um, and I love it so we are going to mount this to the wall eventually but for now we are just going to tilt it up against the wall because it is quite heavy then want to go in and want to add one of my favorite vintage pots now this pot I cannot find the exact one because I did buy it in person at a store but I will try and link similar items to what I'm styling my own home with down below in the description box. So in this pot, I actually like to add my plants into my vintage vases. And I like to just kind of prop up my plants with a smaller inner pot in the pot. So that way it gives like the fern some height, it stands out, and then it also just makes it a little bit larger for the space as well, which is perfect. Next, I'm gonna add my Pottery Barn lamp. This lamp is a beauty, it's a stunner, it's big, it's oversized, um, and it's just perfect for an entryway, and I love having a lamp in the entryway. I like the light that it puts off in the evening. I'm gonna add some coffee table books to the top, and then on the top of those, I'm gonna actually style up my favorite home goods find. I found this a couple years ago, but this is a like horse statue head. I love it so much. I get so many questions about it. So I will try to find some similar pieces for you guys. But then I also found these candlesticks in um, an old decor bin, believe it or not. Next, I want to show you guys my affordable art I'm going to be adding to my entry. This little sketch I found on Etsy. It was a digital download. I printed it off myself. It was only $3.30 on sale, but I love the style of it, and I'm just going to pair it up in this Target frame. This frame was $30, so grand total was $33 for this nice little piece of artwork, and I gotta say, super easy, um, and I love the detailing of the sketch. I wanted some type of figure. I have a lot of landscape paintings throughout my home so I wanted to mix it up with something else I'm gonna go ahead and add the art piece in I did add some tape to secure the print in the frame I just didn't happen to show that little clip but I did secure it so we're just gonna clip all this back in and I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys how this looks so I think it's beautiful it looks expensive but it's so affordable and just a nice little easy quick fix for my entryway So I added my artwork, I have these candles, which I'm gonna light. I typically don't leave these candles burning, but I wanted to get them lit so that way the wax will start kind of falling down the side, which adds just a really nice 
look to my candlesticks next i'm going to add these ottomans these are probably hands down my best find from amazon i just saw these in a home decor store it was like a designer store you guys they were selling them for 2.95 each the same exact ones and i got them from amazon for less than 100 bucks so a total great find i actually loved putting those underneath my console table because it just adds a nice little seating underneath and then i'm going to just touch up my entryway with a nice runner for my runners i really like to have a rug pad underneath it keeps your runner from slipping keeps it all in one place and it's just nice and comfy on your feet as well 